Hello there everybody. So, I had a different video in mind for today, but I've just had a pretty profound experience in a float pod. I just went for a session in town. There's this really great um, facility where near where I live, and they provide uh, sensory deprivation tanks alongside other uh, forms of sort of like holistic medicine, like compression boots, vitamin therapy, um, VR meditation, salt rooms, just the whole shebang. Um, and I've talked about it before, uh, I'll link the video on screen now, about how float therapy has impacted my life. Um, I want to talk about it more going forward because it's it really does tie into a lot of the concepts uh, talked about on this channel, such as no-self, uh, mystical states, uh, meditation, spirituality, mysticism. And today I actually had my deepest session by far, which was funny because I've not actually done it in many, many, many months, possibly almost a year. Um, I don't know why. I should have been doing it. I, was, I made a vow to myself to do it once every month, but for some reason I've just... I've let myself go. So, now, but now we're back on track and I want to do it every single month because, wow, even even not having done it in ages, it feels like everything was just second nature to me. I just, as soon as I got in, well, basically, I'll go, if you don't know what they are, basically, it's a, uh, a this giant tank, oh, sorry about that noise, <laughs> this giant tank that's filled with uh, Epsom salt uh, that allows your body to float on the water. Um, it's a bit like how it is in the, uh, is, it, is, it, is it the dead, dead sea? Yeah, where you just, the, the salt content allows your body to float. It basically feels like you're floating on air in a sense, and it's, uh, and it's also in pitch black. You can have lights on if you want. Um, you also your head submerged, so you don't have any um, sense of hearing. And the water's so light, and once you just don't move, you have no sense of touch. So yeah, it deprives all your senses, and it basically forces your mind into a meditative state, and it f makes you you breathing really shallow and slow. Basically, it, I was barely doing any breaths uh, at all. It was so it was ridiculous. My heart was so slow. And this in turn really uh, slows down your anxieties, your monkey mind, your brain chatter. Anything that you're worrying about really just flies out the window. Um, especially if you've done it a few times. It takes a few, uh, For some people, they don't really get it the first time. And it takes them a while to actually settle into the experience. But I think this might have been my like 10th time. I've been doing it for over, over two years now. And this one was just incredible. I, I, I genuinely almost felt like I was in a psychedelic headspace. Started having visuals. Um, of these wisp-like fish creatures and faces appearing in the uh, in the darkness, it sort of felt like being in a K hole. To be fair, but um, I was very very conscious there. I didn't have any like ego dissolution. I still had the sense of me being there, but I was just in this. The, I, I I could have if if I got any if I'd gone any further, I could stay there for a few more hours. I probably would have forgotten I was in a float pod because I felt like I was in this giant cavernous infinite black space um, with. It was sort of felt like being, being in actual space because there was little flickers, almost like stars. Um, I had my eyes open the entire time. I didn't even blink once, and I find op having my eyes open rather than closed actually allows me to sink deeper into the experience because usually, uh, usually your eyes are perceiving light, and in there there was just barely any light at all. Um, and it felt genuinely like I was floating in air in this void, um, which in, in for some people who've not done it before I might sound a bit scary uh it can be a bit daunting i know for a lot of people are, oh well I, what if i get claustrophobic or whatever but it's the complete opposite of claustrophobia it feels infinite it feels open uh and all oh, people might say that's scary because it's like oh my god there's so much fucking space around me man but it, it, it's like the deepest sense for me it's like the deepest sense of peace ever it feels it feels akin to what i imagine the void must feel like for people who've experienced that through meditation or psychedelics it felt like a, a glimpse of what pure no self is i've had experiences of no self say on uh, deep ketamine trips uh, deep k holes and and, uh, and, and so, sometimes just like deeply meditating uh, just deep meditating for like hours on end and just completely basking in the void of uh, of existence of no existence which to the human ego sounds scary not existing sounds scary because we're so addicted to survival but it's actually incredibly peaceful and cathartic and even now i've got an insane afterglow i've absolutely zero anxieties i feel full of energy i'm i'm, I'm looking at things that i usually worry about in my own life and seeing how much bullshit there is surrounding them and it is one of the most effective tools for therapy for me 
Uh, I don't actually have, I, I'm not really, I, I can suffer with anxiety sometimes, very much just random and the occasional depressive episode, but it's not in, it's not so severe that I would, I'd say I need therapy, I wouldn't say I've got like some disorder, it's just like general, um, general woes really, and this just washes them all away and uh, I'm really going to make a vow to myself to do it once every month and if you've been interested in it, I definitely recommend it because it was. If you struggle meditating, just sitting down and doing it, it literally forces you to do so because there's no external stimuli at all. It's like your brain. It's like your mind literally can't grasp things to uh, think about and keep yourself tethered to reality. It's like you just for it forces you to just let go and bask in the moment and embrace is an isness. It just felt like yeah, this pure state of isness. I've done it before. I, the, my past few sessions, I've done in the past. It did just purely put me into a meditative state, but this time I had genuine, like, psychedelic sort of mystical um, sensations. I, the, the, I, I could not feel my body at all, I just was like a floating void, a floating node of consciousness. Um, there was no resistance at all, or fear, at, or anything. Um, I started to sort of, I also sort of, uh, I sort of enjoyed this sensation of the salt touching my wounds. I had a little scratch on my uh, knuckle. And I actually appreciated the ability to like feel the pain in a sense, which is uh, really quite amazing in a sense. Because obviously, again, human ego were constantly avoiding pain, seeking pleasure, uh, and it allowed me to see like the the positives in negativity and pain, and uh, the deeper nature of why that exists and how it uh, ties into the human experience. Just from a little, just from salt, literally touching one of my wounds. And what's funny enough now, my so my wound feels like it's closed up now really interesting uh, I, the the hallucinations I've never had hallucinations in, uh, in the float pod before um, it was just general like wisp wisp like smoky fish creatures very exotic fish looking things I couldn't exactly make them up but I could make out the outline of them and then I'd see faces of people looking at me like really gently um, and sort of seeing like apparitions in the distance uh, because it literally from my experience I wasn't in like this um, eight foot pod, uh, eight foot wide pod. I was literally just floating in in space uh, in this void, and my and since there was no external stimuli, a lot like when you take psychedelics in a dark room, your mind just your subconscious starts spilling out into your direct experience and filling it with images and and visions, and that's really what happened to me. And it was amazing. I actually felt a bit dazed when I got out of it, but in the best possible way. I felt like I, I was. Um, I was r rendering myself back, I was like an unrendered texture, and then when I got out I was slowly being rendered back into reality like a video game. Uh, it, it, it was insane really, I, I felt a bit, uh, I, I was taken aback slightly, but in, yeah, in the best possible way because I just couldn't believe how deep I'd gotten into the experience, and it was within like, within, only within a few minutes, because usually it takes me like 10, 15 minutes or 20 minutes in the past to fully let go and drift off, but now that I've done it more and more and chipped away at it and sort of got them completely used to experience, I've managed to seriously let go and uh, ride the wave in a sense. So yeah, uh, just a little video uh, about that. Um, if you've had any experience with it, please let me know. And if you've not, and it would it'd be interested in trying it, I'd definitely uh, recommend any psychonauts to track it down and look it up. Um, I know some people do have the fear of like claustrophobia, but I'm just saying, I'm just, I'm telling you right now, like. Get in there, my lad, and you'll be sound. If you get in there and you just let go and you just literally stay still and you just stare, you, there's just no way any fear will crop up at all. Uh, even if it does, the fear will wash away because in the end, like, the fear exists to be faced and to be processed uh, and to be over overcome. So, if anything, if, you get in any, if you've got any fear, that's a good way to um, directly face it and deal with it so yeah I really think everyone should try this at least once in their life um, I'm gonna try and do it once every month or maybe twice a month and check out all the other stuff that uh, this facility that I go to has um, because it it's unbelievably positive for me in, in my mental and physical well-being that's another thing it also really relaxes since I was completely st isolated and stationary it felt like my muscles were just it's sort of massaging themselves in a way. They're completely relaxed. There was no tension at all. And like, if you notice in your own life, even 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 when I'm talking now, there's just like little bits of tension. We're constantly tensing ourselves, clenching our jaws, even just just little bits like that. And when you're in these pods, you, there's just no way you can do that uh, unless you force it yourself. If you just let go, it, it it's just literally like floating in air, and it's 
extremely peaceful, very relaxing, and has major afterglow um, effects for when you get out of it that last it up to one to two days. Uh, I just feel absolutely, I'm absolutely buzzing, mate. So, uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this little ramble again. Um, tomorrow, we're going to do that thing I promised the other week where I said um, I'm going to cover a substance we've never done before. We're going to do that every Wednesday. I hope you look forward to that. It's a pretty chunky report on a uh, substance that I don't think many people know about, but it's very, very profound. Right, well, I'll see you tomorrow, you fucking mental bastards.